Hi there everyone, welcome back to this video. Today I am sharing with you a review on the fossil. This is called the Rachel Satchel. I had posted up on social media um, when I first got the bag and then a while after I used it, if you would like to hear more about it. And quite a number of you actually messaged me to ask specifically um, about my thoughts on this bag. So I thought today I sit down and do more of a proper review. Now because this is essentially my very first handbag review, I do want to preface by saying that I am not super well versed in the world of handbags and definitely not in the world of luxury handbags. It is certainly a niche all on its own with a whole you know bunch of kind of lingo and things that you should know. Um, but realistically, I carried this bag. I've carried it for about six months um, on the regular. This is my go-to bag when I'm not using my work bag. And um, I just want to share kind of my thoughts on it, what I like about it, any um, thing that I would change, um, whether or not I would recommend it. It is a very, I want to say, simple, um, pared down review from an everyday perspective. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with handbags and again I've never done a handbag review so I try to write down all the things that I think you would probably want to know. I will also model the bag for you just to share with you um, the sizing, how it looks when you hold it, uh, maybe that will be useful for you. I've tried watching a few handbag reviews and kind of taking away what kind of things people generally like to share in those reviews so essentially I hope I'm doing this in a useful way and of course as always feel free to leave recommendations um, on either other bags that you know I own that you would like to hear about or um, things you want to see in the future if I don't cover them when I do this review if that makes sense and of course any further questions that you may have um, about this bag in the comments. So I what else do I have to say? Um, yeah, so this is, why don't we start off with kind of what I use this bag for, my purpose for purchasing the Rachel Satchel. Um, this is one of Fossil's more popular bags, I would say. It comes in a variety of different uh, colors as well as materials. Um, this, I believe, replaces what was previously known as the Sydney Satchel. The shape is very similar. I think they made some very small um, adjustments and or additions to this version but if you had owned the Sydney satchel it is very very similar although that one is not made anymore these are now um, all of them are called the Rachel satchel but I think the dimensions are exactly the same if not very similar and speaking of dimensions I'll just tell you that right now this is 10 inches in length so that'll be this way it is 7 inches high I don't think that includes the handles um, and then it is about five inches um, deep, so this way. It is quite a sizable bag and great for carrying your everyday things, especially if you, you know, like to keep a small planner in here, a small water bottle, small umbrella, um, everything kind of small-ish size. You can actually throw quite a number of your everyday small-ish items in this handbag. Uh, I would also probably say that when I looked it up, the size of this satchel is very similar to the Louis Vuitton, what is it called? It is the Speedy Bandolier 25. Um, that one, the dimension is 9.8 in length, so slightly not quite as wide or long, and then 7.4 in height, so the Louis Vuitton is a little taller, and then 5.9 deep, so slightly deeper than the fossil bag. But if you kind of just look at them, the shape is actually quite similar. And I think the way that you would use them is actually quite similar as well. So back to why I got this bag. Um, I wanted something I can carry when I went to meetings um, that can fit my small iPad Pro, no problem, with um, even with the keyboard cover on it. Um, something that if I'm not going to a full day at my work office, I did not have to carry 
really any big binders or notebooks or my laptop. Um, if I go to meetings, I can just type my notes on my iPad Pro and you know fit some small-ish items for the day if I'm going to a conference or anything like that. But this also functions very well as an everyday running around town errands kind of bag for me. Now I have it filled right now because I actually just used it yesterday. I'm going to pull it pull out the things I have inside and just kind of show you what I carry in it um, just to give you an idea of really if you're using this day to day kind of what you would fit in here. Now this does have two carrying strap carrying handles up top which are non-adjustable. There is a small fossil key um, hanging detail here that goes along with all of the fossil bags. This little charm is something that I have added so this does not come with the bag. Why don't I just take that off right now. Um, and it does have a removable chain sorry, shoulder strap so I can take that off as well. The hardware I'm pretty sure it is going to be this brass on all of the bags. The material will vary depending on which version of the bag that you get. There are leather versions. Mine is completely PVC, but I think it's quite a thick, durable PVC. And part of the reason I chose it, other than because I really wanted this color and print, was because it's easy to wipe down. I don't have to really baby it as I would tend to if I had a leather bag. And this, you know, I bought it with the intention of using it as an everyday throw around kind of bag. Um, so that has held up very, very well. Um, there is also a version of this satchel in a rubberized leather. Definitely do not recommend that. It feels weird, it looks weird. Um, tactile, it just doesn't feel that great. So I recommend either getting the PVC that they have here or just getting the real leather. You don't pay that much of a price difference between the leather and the PVC. So I will say this seems expensive for a quote unquote plastic bag but I use it so much and it really works well for my life that I felt like it function wise or cost per wear, um, it definitely worked out for me. Okay, uh, right, so what fits in here? Well, you can carry it like so, and like I say, you can carry it with the adjustable shoulder strap, which is also PVC. None of this is leather in my understanding. Um, there are two slip pockets, one in the front and identical one in the back. And the slip pocket goes all the way in, so all the way to the bottom of the bag. There are no feet on the bottom of this bag and not on any of the designs either. This doesn't quite bother me just because I have the PVC version and I have not cleaned this bag or wiped it down in the six months I have owned it and I use this quite regularly. So I would say that it is quite sturdy and doesn't mark up or get dirty easily. It is fully lined on the inside and the zippers, which is one of the things I really love, go all the way down to nearly the bottom of the bag. Some of these um, similar shaped satchels only go halfway and it was hard to reach your hand in there and grab the things that you need to get. So this opens very, very wide all the way and you can put quite a number of things in here. So I have mine filled from going out um, the other day. So I'll show you what I have in here. I have a small size wallet. This is a Michael Kors um, small wallet, fits in here nicely. I have a small pouch that also fits in here. I have a slightly larger pouch for keys and Tic Tacs and your headphones and the bits and baubles that float around in your bag. So that fits in here no problem. Um, I also have my glasses. I have a small notebook that I carry. I have a hair bobble. I have just some notes from shopping, my shopping grocery list. Um, and then I also have a measuring tape. I went to the, the uh, fabric store. So that clears out pretty much the bag on the inside. So I will insert close-ups of this, don't worry about that. Um, but for the most part, it is one large opening. There are two slip pockets, one larger, one smaller on one side of the wall. On the other side of the wall, there is a zippered large pocket compartment. Um, on the side, it is gusseted, which I found was very important. Um, prevents things from falling out, even though you can open the bag quite wide and quite um, kind of wide open. 
in the front pockets i tend to carry either my receipts when i go shopping um, and also you know your bus card and things like that you can easily fit your keys your cell phone um, no problem your large iPhones I have a pen in here so it's a very very functional bag for me so let me zip this back up now a few other things you may want to know and you probably know this right away is this is not a super structured bag and I like that it is a mix between structure and softness I mean like I can you know fold this down squish it um, it does mostly get its shape back if you just use it up a little bit but it's not one that flops down when you put it on a chair or a table um, yet at the same time it's not super hard like it's comfortable to carry the bag now that it's pretty much empty let me just empty the last bits out of here is very lightweight now this is also because i have the pvc version i don't have the leather but when i tried on the leather in the store it's not that much heavier either so it's a lightweight bag um, you can put quite a lot in there what i just showed you that i took out of this bag was maybe only about 60 percent full a um, lot of space in there still so for me this really works well in terms of the way um, the styling I like the print there are lots of different options if you um, are okay going with the plastic PVC they do lots of prints in this they bring out seasonal colors in the leathers there is less selection but still a few um, and I think they bring out generally a new color every season in the leather so really really love this bag I also like that the shoulder strap rings are not placed here to the top handles but rather to the side and it's well balanced one is spaced more towards the left and on the other side is spaced more towards the right so it really balances when you are um, putting this over your shoulder or you know crossbody and it doesn't wobble and it doesn't pull on the material of the bag which is another thing that a lot of bags seem to do like the way they place their d-rings is very awkward so this one is really just perfect all the stitching is as far as i can tell meticulous none has busted um the inside is lined with a twill lining in a light um, color i do have one spot and stain i don't know what i got on there um, i haven't like i said i haven't cleaned this bag in six months so this was kind of recent maybe when i moved i did something off to it otherwise there's really nothing terrible to say about this bag i've gotten so many compliments like i mentioned in the beginning of this video on this bag more so than anything else i've ever carried everyone really comments on how cute the bag is i think it's a great mix between um a little bit more sophisticated in terms of the shape but yet fun because of the print and again very very versatile it is a bag that i carry with me all the time okay now last thing i want to mention is the price i should have mentioned this earlier totally forgot sorry guys this bag um when i got it six months ago at retail price with tax um, and tax here is what is it it is 12 percent tax um this bag came out to be 188 dollars which sounds like a lot for pvc um for the amount that you pay i would recommend that you go up to a leather if you want better value for money but if you do want durability and just easy to clean wipe it down with a damp cloth i still would go with the pvc and it's more lightweight as well so this is again the fossil rachel satchel um i hope that you enjoyed this review that it was mostly helpful again ask any questions if i had missed something that i did not um, include earlier and let me know what kind of bag you carry on a regular basis whether it's for work or for your every day i've been starting to collect some nicer bags but by no means designer um and i think you know the youtube space really lacks um, talk and conversation about this category of bags whether it's a fossil or a lower end coach or just something you know 
um, Kate Spade. Brands that are much more accessible for those who are working professionals and you are able to save a bit of money and invest in a slightly nicer bag, but that isn't a designer bag. I think it's much more practical. So that is my bag review. Um, and again, I hope to see you over on my social media if you want to keep up with me and also over on my blog. Until next time, take great care of yourselves and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.